happened to wrapped up in film or I should be saying howdy now because it's Westworld time <laughs> sorry I couldn't resist yes it's Westworld time it's time to discuss and review episode four so I'm going to try and keep this really short and sweet guys because there's so much going on and I don't want to be sat here all night trying to go through everything so forgive me if I forget a few bits so just picked out my favorite bits and some discussion points this is a, a great meaty episode a bit of action a bit of drama and a bit of new information for us and a few more of what the hell is going on type moments thrown in as well so we've got lots of the main players involved in this episode let's start off with Maeve played by Tandy Newton I'm loving her character. I feel so sorry for her as well. She's So she's having these flash, flashbacks and she's seeing, as they're referred to in Westworld, the masked men from hell. She's seeing them, she doesn't know who they are. She's thinking, what the fuck is going on? Who are these guys? So she's drawing them down in the hope that she remembers and she tries to hide them under her floorboards and she finds all her other drawings, which of course she's been doing in her other loops. And the look on her face, just she looks absolutely terrified and we've got a very cool scene with her and Hector at the end it's very passionate really well done so she's a she's a smart cookie she's trying to outsmart the system and we've got this great scene at the end and I'm really excited to see where that's gonna go next episode um, moving on from that, we've got Bernie and Teresa. So we see a little bit more of their, well I thought they were having a sort of fling, but it seems a bit, there's a bit more emotion involved, especially from Teresa's side. And it's nice for us to see a bit more of her character. We're used to seeing her sort of walk around, bossing everyone around. She's quite hard, hard. She's, a, she's a real hard, sort of serious, cold bitch type character. And, and we see this vulnerability from her with Bernie. She really likes him. So that's that was a really nice little scene um, with those two. And again, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where that's going. Does Bernie really, does he really, is he interested in Teresa or is he just using her? I think there's more to Bernie than meets the eye and I think he's just using her to get information. And then we've got another scene involving Teresa and Dr. Ford, Anthony Hopkins. What a scene. He's basically demonstrating to her how much power he really has and he seems to think of himself as some kind of god in this park that he's created and he demonstrates that by whilst they're having lunch and he's chosen the restaurant that she went to when she was a kid again he's you know relaying even more power there um he's telling her he knows everything he even knows about her and bernie and the look on her face is, is hilarious so basically everything stops. All the androids suddenly stop as he is speaking and we see the wine overflowing in the glass and it's a great scene and it, it makes me think that he, he could, he's capable of anything. And these androids are almost like his army and he can tell them what to do and when to do it. So that was a fantastic scene. Anthony Hopkins is such a great actor. So we've got William and Logan who are embarking on this bounty hunt. Dolores is insistent on going with them and William is reluctant because he, he's worried she's going to get hurt. Logan just doesn't give a shit about anyone and again he's got some cracking one-liners. Uh, I think his character is hilarious. Ben Barnes doing a great job. So we also learn that Logan and William are, it seems like Logan's parents have invested money in the park or they own part of the park so this is business for them and that just reconfirms for us that logan is just some spoiled brat who obviously just wants to go in there and create a bit of havoc but this is a business trip for him and william and they are more involved in this park than we thought we see a lot of the man in black and again he's kicking some serious ass and then of course we've got this scene uh, excuse me sir I didn't want to intrude, but I just had to say that I'm such an admirer of yours. Your foundation literally saved my sister's life. One more word and I'll cut your throat, understand? Mm. This is my fucking vacation. So we finally find out that he is a guest. He is obviously a very wealthy and powerful guest. And he's looking for this maze. So we've also got the scene with Dolores and Bernie where Bernie tells Dolores about this maze and he says, 
If you find this maze, then you will be free. So what does that mean? What does it mean? So does it mean, does she, does she get released into the real world? Do you go on to another level after that? Do you, I mean, what, what does this maze mean? If you, if you find the maze, you will be free. Comment below, what do you guys think about that? We see more of Armistice in this episode. Unfortunately, she gets shot to shit at the end, but we all know she's gonna be back, of course. So we see um, a lot more of her. She's totally badass, very, very cool character. And she's telling the man in black that she is on a revenge trip and she wants to find Wyatt. So we've only seen this Wyatt character in flashbacks. We haven't met him yet. So maybe we're gonna meet this Wyatt character who sounds like a horrible, horrible person and a evil, capable of all sorts. So hopefully we're gonna meet him in the next episode. And we've got this little girl who keeps popping up now and she seems to know a lot about Westworld and a lot about this maze. Who, who is this girl and how does she know so much? Hopefully all of this will be explained later on in the series. Okay, so I'm gonna try and wrap this up now. I told you I'd keep it short and sweet. So what am I hoping from next week's episode? I'm hoping we go a little bit deeper. I wanna find out a bit more, a few more wow moments, a few cheeky twists. What is Ford up to? What's he doing there? I wanna know more about Arnold, more, more of the backstory. I'm finding the whole backstory really fascinating. And I just hope this is going in a very clever direction and it's not just one big guessing game. But hey, I am enjoying the ride. And I think Ivan Rachel Wood is just holding this whole thing together. She's such a talented, act talented actress. Really hugely impressed with her performance. And I'm excited to see next week. So guys, comment below. What are your thoughts on this episode? Any more crazy theories flying around? And what are you hoping to see from next week? And what are your overall thoughts so far on the series? Are you feeling a little bit lost? Let's hope it doesn't turn out like lost and we're not just all left hanging there. But um, I, I, I have high hopes. I, and I know this is gonna be going in a great direction and I'm, I'm, I'm saddled up for the ride and, and I can't wait for next week. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll catch you soon. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.